Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the first four figures Sonic and Tails exclusive figure unboxing. So, here is the box. We've got the entire front of the figure here. We've got Sonic and Tails connected to the actual base of the figure itself. Now this is the Burning Angel Island version, so it does have these flames that light up. And once we take it out, we'll be able to see that. Here's the side of the box. It shows a different view of the figure. On the back of the box here, we have another view of the figure as well as a little story here. We've got Miles Tails Power, Sonic's best friend and trusty sidekick throughout all his adventures. The fox was born with twin tails, hence his nickname. By using his tails as a propeller, Tails is able to fly into the air and carry his friends across difficult to traverse landscapes. Coincidentally, he is also an expert pilot and mechanic. Following the events of Sonic 2, Dr. Eggman's death egg crash landed on a mysterious body of floating land known as Angel Island. The impact was so immense that both the ship and the island plunged into the ocean, causing a massive tidal wave. Unfortunately, the space fortress was still in repairable condition, and Sonic's rival plans on locating and misusing the Chaos Emeralds found on the island to fix his craft and regain orbit in space. At the beginning of Sonic 3, Sonic and Tails arrive on the scene to investigate the tidal wave only to find that the animals of the island have already been turned into badniks. Shortly after, they encounter yet another invention of Dr. Eggman that unleashed a rain of missiles that set the once peaceful jungle ablaze. It is up to the dynamic duo yet again to put an end to Dr. Eggman's diabolical plans once and for all. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic and Tails comes with the following. So we have the resin statue, Sonic and Tails with angry expressions, highly detailed scorched jungle base inspired from the theme and style of Sonic 3 Angel Island Zone Act 1, and the authentication card. And if we look down here, we have our product number, number 3 out of 350. Since we got the burning Angel Island one, I wonder if the story is different for the regular version. Let me know in the comments below. Opening the top of the box, we have this styrofoam contraption, which is lined with first four figures tape, the quality control pass sticker, and one of these little holographic stickers. Now this has to be one of the coolest styrofoam packagings I've ever seen. It's kind of like an embossed figure on the side of the styrofoam here. It says this side down, so I'll be sure to put that side down as soon as we're done here. And then on the other side, it's got first four figures, Sonic and Tails. And then I already took out the authentication card. It also has the Sonic logo here on the bottom. Take a look. We've got all of the different pieces here to assemble the statue. We can see a little bit of the flames here. Wow. This thing feels solid. All right, I'm gonna pull all these things out and we're gonna take a look at them. All right, I've pulled everything out of the styrofoam packaging. Looks like we have a bunch of different pieces here. Let's start unwrapping some of this stuff. Oh yeah. Really glad they decided to give it to us in pieces so that it wouldn't break on the way here from China. Wow, this is really intricate. Okay, so here we have the base. We've got a little sponge here. Looks like we've got some spots to attach the spikes, the enemy, and probably Sonic and Tails themselves. Now this base is pretty heavy. It is made of resin, it's not a normal PVC, so it is solid all the way through. So on the bottom, you can see it is in fact number three, and there's a spot there for the battery. The battery, by the way, is gigantic. It's literally a giant, looks like a stick of dynamite almost. Just in case you need a replacement, these are the specs on the battery. I'm gonna pop this in now because I think it's gonna be pretty hard to do it once everything's assembled. Looks like we've got a spike here. So, let's go ahead and attach one of these. Oh yeah, that slides in perfectly. All right, let's do the other three. There we have it, our spikes are up. And I've got an interesting item here. It looks like it might be a piece of the vine or something. I don't think it goes here. It must go somewhere else. Well, we'll figure that out. Oh yeah, look at this chunky boy. He has a nice metallic finish. Looks like he's been a little bit scorched from the fire, so that's a nice touch. A little rusty. Oh, I really like his wheel too. Definitely know he's been rummaging through some stuff. And he's got a nice spike here, so let's put him somewhere. I think he goes here. 
Yep, he slots right into place. All right, so let's unravel some of these. Looks like we've got Sonic's head. It's a nice looking head. He's got that angry expression that they were talking about on the box. And we have a little hole here to insert. Looks pretty good. We also have Tails' head. A little bit smaller. And he looks pretty serious. And there's his insert hole. And he's got nice hair too. Over here, it looks like we have Tails' as tails. Yep, they're spinning and we have a little pin to insert him into. It's pretty good. And finally, looks like we have where they connect. And we have a little sponge here to protect them. And we even have sponges between their feet to protect any kind of breakage. Nice. Ooh. If you look at it, it looks like his spines have been singed a little. Fire's no joke. And you see they're connected here by their hands. Alright, let's put these together. Okay, so here are these two put together. Tails slot in nicely and their heads went in just perfectly. They are assembled. I do want to mention that these are pretty heavy. So you see this little square right here. This square I'm assuming connects to this peg onto this tree branch here. So hopefully that's sufficient enough to hold them up. And I'm still not sure where this goes. So something I just noticed is that this peg down here is actually a magnet. It pulls in the peg and it keeps it in place. It's really, really nice. And actually the spikes are the same way. As you can see, I've attached Sonic and Tails to the tree branch. And so the only thing left is for us to charge it up and we can get our first good look at this figure to all lit up. Okay, I've had this thing charging for a few hours now. The charge light just changed from red to green. So let's get this back on the table and take a look. So here's a figure in the absence of light with the fire on. This is the, I guess, blazing feature where the flames are kind of shimmering, which is a really nice touch. It shows Angel Island actively on fire, which is really cool. And I like how it kind of reflects off of the different metallic structures here, like the spikes and the enemy. And if we press it again, it'll turn off. And then if we press it one more time, the flames come on and then they stay on and they don't flicker and it was definitely worth the wait. So let me know in the comments below how you feel about this particular figure and hopefully they come out with more in the Sonic 3 or Sonic & Knuckles or really just any kind of Genesis line itself. Until then, stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.